Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of Japan, where we just finished a double crisis situation, where we won Eastern Mali through a crisis, and we also won Boss Congo through a crisis. It did break our relations with France down to 175, but that's okay. He's still our ally, and he's currently going through what's known as the... I don't know what you would call it, really. There is no, like, common saying for it, but France tends to collapse. Once they've collapsed once, like he's right now about to collapse into communism. Once he collapses once, he tends to just keep on collapsing to communists, to anarcho-liberals, to socialists, to everything, and he'll just keep flipping back and forth. And he can't do much about it because he can never keep his army up. Oh well. Anyway, uh, we're currently influencing Colombia because we want to get the Panama Canal built. In the last episode, we built the Suez Canal. Yay, Suez Canal! And we can build our naval base there, of course. So now we're able to sail our ships from uh, the Indian Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea really fast. So if we get into a war with the Europeans, we could go invade that way as well. Yay, war. So now that our colony is done in Bas Congo, finally, uh, we are able to colonize the rest of Africa, which we're doing. So that's going to be a whole lot more pop for us. Socialist demagogue. Um, militancy, socialists. Mm, sure. Um, oh, we can do another reform. I'm not going to do it. Nope. No reforms. <laughs> we're not going to do any reforms because we are uh, we're planning stuff. Yep. Alright, time to kick the USA out of Hawaii. Get the fuck out of here. And Manchuria. Yeah, let's kick Rush out of Manchuria. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. How's Siam doing? We need to check in on Siam, see if we can pull you out of Britain yet. No, we're, sti we're still discredited until October 19th. Alright, so on October 19th, we can invest in Siam again. And I think this time we're going to go straight for remove from Sphere. Laissez faire. Okay. I think next time our discredit is gone, which is like right now. Whoa! The ungrateful nation of Luxembourg has seized our assets. Let them be. It's fine. Um, okay, we're done. Discredit's over. Now the Britain's going to discredit us probably right away. And there we go. Discredit. But I don't care. Now Britain has spent all of his influence. He has zero. Zero influence. So I'm just going to go straight for 100% or 100 influence. And we're going to remove him from Britain's sphere. And he can't stop us. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yes, 90. Oh yeah. Oh, he's fucked. He is fucked. Oh shit, we got kicked out of Colombia. Man, Colombia is so volatile. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get Colombia. Oh well, we'll keep trying. Yep, there goes Siam. 96. 97. Siam's fucked. Alright, let's do it. Remove from Britain's sphere. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Take that, Britain. Son of a bitch. So now Britain's kind of boned, because his relations with Siam are in the trash. My relations with Siam are pretty good. And they're getting better. So I should be able to out-influence uh, Siam. Yup. Okay, time to ban USA and Qinghai. Let's do that. And what's going on in Europe right now? Uh... Nothing really. Germany is huge. Poland exists, which is kind of cool. He's in Britain's sphere. Britain and Germany are still allies. Russia and... Oh, Russia has no ally. Really? Russia has no great power ally. That's interesting. Um, France has two great power allies. 
And Italy has no... I think Italy and Russia are going to get back with their alliance eventually, once they're done with this war. What is this war for? I don't know. But Italy's winning somehow. Uh, organic chemistry. More supply limit. Good. We get some more education would be nice. Ooh. Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh, ow, oh, oh. Ah. Hmm. I think we need some more military techs. We need to uh, catch up with Europe on military tech, because we're like 10 techs behind Europe. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. Oh, I gotta see this. Oh, there we go. Oh, why is it so tiny? Ha ha ha. This is perfect. It's so tiny, though. Can you find a bigger picture of it? And our colonies are done. Yay! Africa is done, everyone. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful Japanese Africa. It's really unfortunate that I fucked up Volta. We would have had Volta if I didn't fuck it up. And I also fucked up these two states. So we, you could potentially see us owning this, this, and this. But I fucked up. Also, if I had foreseen that Portugal would have been a secondary power and able to colonize, I could have spent a ton of time influencing Brazil. See, look at that. Brazil's 14th. And I think a lot of that has to do with us building railroads and factories over there. If I had foreseen that Portugal would have been a secondary power when colonization rolled around, I would have been influencing Brazil for years, but I'm an idiot, and I didn't foresee that happening. So, uh, unfortunately, Portugal got this chunk. So just imagine that they didn't get it. Just imagine that they didn't get it. I'm just going to pretend that they didn't get it. <laughs> oh, and also Easter Island. Done. There we go. Okay, so now that the colonial race is done, we can finally turn all of these protectorates into colonies. Right now it's just a little hut, it's a protectorate, we can make it a colony. Let's do it. And we can do that everywhere. Do it. Do it. Do it. And yeah, this could take a while because there's a lot of places that need upgrading. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. There we go. And the only difference between a protectorate and a colony is a colony, which is the upgraded version of protectorate, the colony has a, a way to grow into a state. The colony will attract immigrants, and the immigrants will usually be from Japan. And uh, if we get enough Japanese immigrants into the colonies, they can become states. So that's the difference between a protectorate and a colony, is you, you can turn them into states eventually. And states allow you to have factories there, which is pretty cool. So if we can get some of these to turn into states with factories, that'd be amazing. Oh man, so many. So many. So many. More. We need more. More souls. More. More souls. Yes. More. We're spending millions of dollars on forts, I know, but I do like forts. People always tell me forts are useless in this game, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to build them. Oh man, there's so many protectorates now. Or so many colonies now. So very many colonies, but they're almost done. We got like 10 more to go. Yeah, we did a lot of colonizing. We actually did really well. We could have done better though. Oh, Sakhalin can now become a state. So this is what happens when you have enough uh, people migrate from Japan to the colonies is they can become a state. So let's do it. Let's make Sakhalin a state. Great.
some of these over the course of the game will become states. Most of them will not become states. Because we won't be able to get enough immigration to most of them to turn into states. But some of them will. And there we go. Done. Beautiful. What about naval bases? I'm just going to keep checking for naval bases. <laughs> it's a horrible picture. Wow, that picture is so old. That picture is from... With those sunglasses, that picture is from 2000... No, it's 2008. Was it 2008? I think it was 2008. That's not that old. Kind of old. Those sunglasses are now in a box somewhere. Check for ports. Supply limit here is pretty low, but no one's taking attrition, are they? So I guess it's okay. Yeah, supply limit here is crap. This is the only province with decent supply limit around here. I think I'm still going to evacuate some troops. Anyway, check for ports. Looks good. Still building. More tech. Oh yeah, truce is up with China, isn't it? Okay, let's see. China, truce is done. Okay, justify war, demand concession. Try not to get caught. The Italian-Ottoman War. What a weird war. Yeah, if we can take some more land from China, what would we want? Let's see. We still import a lot of wood. So I think I would want to take this state with the wood. He doesn't really have any wood anywhere else. So we'll take that state for the wood. Uh, I guess he does have wood over here. All right, we'll take Henan and Zhejiang. Okay. I'm just going to do two, two states at a time because it's cheap that way. Less infamy that way. One point seven infamy. Not bad. Not bad. All right, fund the army, and let's invade the Chinese once again. Let's see how much jingo do we have? Because I really don't want to do. I hate using that jingo cheats, but it's better than having to sit around. We have twelve point nine jingoism. That should be enough. It's better than sitting around waiting for you know a billion sieges to finish. More military tech. And we almost have our CB. Yeah, 80%. All right. We'll declare for Zhejiang, and then we'll add Henan to the demand. This time, burn down the palace. I don't think I want to burn down the palace. It's just infamy. It's just infamy. Zhejiang. Call allies. Uh, no, no need. Okay, you invade there. You invade there. You guys invade... Go to Beijing. Yep. Slow down time. Speed 3 is okay. And I guess I'll bring my navy over for some blockades, but there's no real need. <laughs> there's the first battle. Wow, what a crushing victory. Oh, we finished some ideas, or some... In inventions. What did we get? We got flexible firepower, which gives more attack. Very good. And farming output, plus 5%. I like. Oh god, these battles. These battles were a fucking joke. That's disgusting. Okay, 4.3 war score. Can I add a demand? 
No, why not? Oh, we don't even have a diplomat back yet. Whoops. Okay, more battles, more battles, more battles, more battles. Lots of battles. Okay. There we go. Add Henan. Okay. So our demand is about 70 war score. I will need my blockade for this. And if we're going to blockade, I might as well bring over some troops as well. Let's do it. Because we're only going to get about 50 war score from battles, which means we do have to do some sieging. Yeah, 50 war score from battles goes a long way, but we still have to do some sieging, or else we're not going to get enough war score to peace out. And China really has inexhaustible resources as far as manpower, so he's not going to run out of troops. What he is going to run out of is land if we siege him up. Uruguay has gone bankrupt. No, not Uruguay. Not Uruguay. No, he won't take any peace yet. So he's not really close to peace yet. A couple more battles will change his mind. Another crushing victory. Good. Another crushing victory. So we're at 35 war score. He still won't take any peace deal. Wow. Stubborn. Crisis in West Galicia. Okay. What's this for? Uh, Poland wants West Galicia. Oh, fun. Am I going to help Poland? I mean, Germany might. Nope, nobody's going to help Poland. No crisis. That happens a lot. Poland's like, can I have stuff? Everyone says, no, you can't have stuff. Poland's like, aww. We just killed 50,000 troops in Taiping. Wow. And he will take half of my offer, but not the other half. All right, so now we have to do some sieging. So let's start sieging. Siam. Aha, Siam. Add to sphere. Good. Xinjiang. How are we doing in Xinjiang? Looks pretty good. Stop influencing there. Mongolia. Looks good. Qinghai. Looks pretty good. Manchuria looks good. Is anyone... Am I missing out on any influence here? Burma looks pretty good. Colombia. Can't really do anything there. Netherlands. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and ban France and Netherlands. And, yeah, influence a little bit there. I know Italy's higher on the influence, but Italy doesn't border them. Italy does not border the Netherlands, but France does border the Netherlands, so France has an influence bonus. Because of that border. Okay, killed another 27,000. Goodness. Brutal. These battles are ridiculous. Oh, he's trying to unsiege his capital. That's adorable. Uh, let's send some of you guys in to invade, and the rest of us will go attack.
All right, let's pick up some more idiots. We really don't need this massive army that we have in uh, Africa right now. So let's pick up some of the idiots from Africa. Let's take two of you here and two of you up here. Okay. Now we could build another 75 regiments or so, but there really is no reason to. At least not yet. One thing to note is we will siege a little faster than he will because we have better units, but he does have a lot more regiments, so he can siege a lot of land at the same time. Yeah, let me drop off the ships for blockade. And let's get that going. Blockade will help a little bit. It does give a little bit of war score. Uh, not a ton. Oh, there you go. Done. Blockade was all we needed. Yay! Oh, that's glorious. Oh, our name has moved. Our name is no longer actually on the islands of Japan. Now it's over here. Okay. Uh, do we have a port here yet? No, there's no port. Alright, build a port in Taizu. And, ah, hang on, hello. Excellent. And that should do. Excellent. I made a Chinese donut. <laughs> it's perfect. We'll take that land eventually. There's just no rush. Alright, so the nice thing about that is we only took 6.7 infamy for those two provinces. Very cheap. Extremely economically viable there. And we didn't have to siege him up too much. Uh, we got about five or six points of war score from the blockade. We got 50 war score from the battles, and we got maybe six or seven war score from sieges. And that's all we needed to piece out. And actually, it looks like France is taking care of his rebels. Look at this. France has controlled the communist re re rebellion. That's pretty amazing, actually. I didn't expect France to survive that. Okay, got an alliance with Siam. So our sphere now looks like this. We have about half of China in our sphere. We have a lot of Southeastern Asia in our sphere. And uh, for some reason, Britain still has not uh, in, still has not sphered Johore. So we could potentially go eat Johore, but he's civilized now. So probably we'll just sphere him. And Brunei, I think we're just gonna eat Brunei. 10 infamy though is quite a lot for that. And Yemen, I still want to get rid of Yemen. This guy does not belong here. His color is just, ugh. It's too pink. Don't you think that's too pink? Yeah, he's not allowed to be that pink. That's my color. Factories are all upgrading, that's great. Saka Lane, the... <laughs> Saka Lane's building a liquor distillery. Of course they are. Of course they are. Keep on upgrading those factories, baby. Hmm, when do we get the next research tech? 1900, all right. Hmm. I'm 
No, I don't care about borders. What bothers me in Africa is not the borders. It, the border is bad, but that's, it doesn't bother me. What bothers me in Africa is we missed out on these three colonies. We could have had Volta, Niger, and Sahara. And I messed that up. I messed all three of those up. I could have had those. But I screwed it up. Let's get factory input tech. No, sparing Johore won't really give us much, but it will secure our our uh, dominance of Asia. Because right now, Britain still has... Oh, die factory. Right now, Britain still has a lot of influence in Asia. So what do we need for a die factory? Die factory. There it is. It takes coal and it makes dyes. Really? Well, I tell you what, I do have a lot of coal. I do have a lot of coal, so perhaps we should do that. Also, look at this. Our number one import is liquor. The number one thing we import is liquor. Are you kidding me? How can we import so much liquor? It's crazy. I can't believe we don't have enough liquor being produced. That's kind of sad. Wow, we're making bank on this fucking artillery. Wow. Huh. I mean, we do have some liquor factories. We just need more, apparently. Level 5 liquor factory, level 4 liquor factory. Let's get Hokkaido a liquor factory as well. Hmm, level 4 liquor factory. Let's give Chubu a liquor factory as well. I can't believe we need so much more liquor. I mean, Shit. granted, our population's pretty big, but we, we need more liquor. Get Prohibition? No way. Prohibition sounds like a bad idea. Bawo says, the daily $2. Well, thank you, Bawo. I appreciate your donation. Bawo's like, every day he comes in, he's like, here's two bucks, here's two bucks, here's two bucks, here's two bucks. <laughs> You're a strange man, Bawo. There's 200 million people in our nation. You're right, there's 235 million people in our nation, and it's increasing by 48,000 per day. Oh, no, 40,000. Yeah, 40,000 people per day. Growth. That's a lot of growth. That is a lot of fucking growth, man. But yeah, we do import a lot of liquor. Like, a ton of it. Alright, Siam, I need to put you on max, because I need to kick Britain out. I really need to kick Britain out of Siam. I need to get relations back up with France. Not that I really care about him, but I want him to have better relations, better opinion of me. Austria as well. Germany's good. Britain could use a little hug. There you go. And uh, unfortunately, the Panama Canal just doesn't look like it's going to work. I mean, we'll keep trying. Mehdi says, thank you for your great support to help France rip off Germany when 1914 comes around. You know, that, that might be a good option, actually. Um, the World Wars, they unlock at 1890, but that doesn't mean they'll actually get a World War for a while. What happens in 1890 is great wars are unlocked. They get discovered somehow. It's just magic. Great wars are discovered. And when great wars are discovered, it allows great powers to get more than one ally. And when great powers have more than one ally, you can have multiple great powers on each side of a war. And when that happens after great wars are discovered, every single war that has multiple great powers on each side will become what's called a great war. 
like the first great war, the second great war, the third, it doesn't matter what the war is about. Like it could be Spain declaring war on Portugal. It's the first great war or it's the third great war. It just gets renamed to that stuff. And when that happens, anything you add as a demand in that war becomes very cheap. Instead of costing 11 infamy to take a state, let's say we want to take the state of Brittany from France, because it's a very good state to have. Let's say we want to take the state of Brittany from France. It would cost us 3.6 infamy instead of 11. It's so cheap. All the costs for infamy are cut by 67%. Uh, They're much cheaper than normal. Uh, anyway, I heard that. What is it? Chris Ernja says, screw your two bucks, Bawo, forehead, kappa, one, two, three. <laughs> Well, thank you, Chris and Jeff. People are having donation wars. That's fun. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Come back next time where, uh, well, the colonies are done. So I think the first thing we should do is, oh, wow. The capitalists have already built, the capitalists have already built railroads like everywhere. So I guess I don't need to build railroads. But uh, the next thing we're going to do is probably another war on China. And if we have time, then I would like to go eat Sokoto, Yemen, and maybe Hejaz but also Brunei. Brunei is going to be priority because Brunei will eventually have wonderful, wonderful oil. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. I'm still hoping, I'm still hoping that some of these British puppets will uh, have revolts. If the British puppets get revolts, wow, well, look at this, Britain colonized Alaska. If the British puppets get revolts, then those nations become free and you can just declare war on them whenever the hell you want. Bye-bye.